situating the California government, we've got to start somewhere, because this thing is pretty cosmic in its uh, framework. And the situation, situating California government, is about 100 billion. The gross state product is 1.5 trillion. So it's, it's just part of the, the big thing called California. The state government is just a piece. And along with that piece, you have the federal government, you have a bunch of local governments and local districts, and school districts, and you know, water districts, and counties and cities, and you have all that stuff. Um, and then you got all this business, you know, lots of money in businesses and churches and families and unions and all sorts of things. So inside of that big uh, panoply of powers shows up state government. And then inside that thing called state government, you got a governor. So the first point I'll make is the governor doesn't have all that much uh, power here in the, I don't know whether you're supposed to say that, because if it's so powerless, why do you make such a big deal out of it? And, <laughs> But we do make a big deal out of it, but I want to tell you, since we're here in an academic venue, uh, the governor has very limited power. Now, he does have the power to pontificate. They do give him some exposure. By the way, each uh, term of governors, they've given less exposure to, because the, the TV cameras find it rather boring. And I can understand that, given uh, the way TV is now. It's very graphically exciting and uh, lots of news flashes. And there are not that many news flashes in Sacramento. It's pretty much the same old stuff. You know, you have freeways and you've got criminals and uh, you have civil servants and you've got taxes and smog and different odds and ends that show up. Uh, and then you have all these lobbyists and they feed the legislature and the governor. I mean, it's a pretty complicated situation. The governor is one piece, and all our collective ills cannot be uh, reduced to a governor, gubernatorial agenda. Uh, one of the things I found out, I go to the office every day, I said, what the hell, what are we going to do today? And there's so much stuff. Is it fish and game? Is it, you know, is it the highways? Is it consumer affairs? There's just a lot of stuff going on. And it is like the uh, set of questions that Kevin Starr presented. You can't even keep them in your mind between the first question and the third question, let alone the last question. It just all glazes over. So uh, don't expect state government to solve all these damn problems. I mean, that's just so. So don't blame the governors. So don't blame me, Argentina. In fact, you know what's kind of funny about it, and I take some pride here, that some of these Republicans, George, I have to tell you, are still blaming me for the freeway situation. I mean, come on. Even if I... It is. I'm glad. That's the proper response to that. So, so, but anyway, um, what can I say? The, uh, there's, there's a lot of expect. I remember when I was there, and in fact, I even said, this thing is so out of control, the only thing that can save us is a man on a white horse. <laughs> and so some guy named Jim Lawrence wrote a book about the man on the white horse. It was about me, of course. And I didn't mean to be the man on the white horse. I just said, there's so many demands in Sacramento to spend so much money. How in the world can you ever control it without a man on the white horse? which is this kind of fascistic figure that I fantasized would ride into Sacramento and curb the legislature. Now, since that time, there have been a lot of efforts to, uh, toward, that, uh, toward that objective. Uh, most of them fail. Uh, so, we don't have enough money to pay for everything that everybody wants. We have lots of people in need. Yes, inequality is growing. We're probably screwing up the environment probably irreversibly, although all the evidence is not in yet. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that we could worry about. And yet we know in politics you must be an optimist. So based on that, I would say we got a few problems, but we got most of it covered. Governor Duke Major, and you followed uh, Jerry Brown <laughs> in office, and you have the unenviable position of following him now. 
I was a state senator when Jerry Brown was governor. I never understood him then, I don't understand him now. 